This is the tutorial on how to use the Sun AltiLink altimeter barometer. This model functions as both a barometer and an altimeter, but we will be focusing on its use as a barometer. We will primarily be using the orange inner pressure dial. Today, the black movable pressure needle is sitting between the two major ticks, 28 and 29, on the third minor tick. So this is giving us a pressure reading of 28.3 inches of mercury. Often, inches of mercury is abbreviated, as it is on this barometer, using inches of Hg. Hg is just the chemical symbol of mercury. Though inches of mercury is a commonly used unit, the standard in weather is the millibar, abbreviated MB. One inch of mercury is equal to 33.9 millibars. So our pressure of 28.3 inches of mercury can also be reported as 959 millibars, which is just the product of 28.3 and 33.9. Now I will check the accuracy of my reading with weather.gov. I typed my zip code into the search field and looked under current conditions on my local weather page to see what the barometer reading was. It reads 28.86 inches of mercury or 978 millibars. Why is this different? The pressure reported by the weather service is corrected for elevation, and we'll go more into detail about why they use a corrected pressure later this semester. But this means that 28.86 inches of mercury is what the pressure at Fairbanks would be if Fairbanks were at sea level. However, my reading is reporting the pressure at Fairbanks actual elevation, which is actually about 450 feet above sea level. I will need to correct my reading for my elevation in Fairbanks. I will do this by rotating the outer altitude field. I first rotate the dial so that the black pressure needle is pointing to the zero feet marker, as it is now. I then rotate the outer dial counterclockwise so that the pressure needle reads 450, just between the 400 and the 500 hash marks. Notice that the orange indicator line is now under 28.8 inches of mercury. This is the corrected sea level pressure, and 28.8 inches of mercury, or 976 millibars, is in sensible agreement with the weather services reading. As another example, suppose I am in Healy at an elevation of about 1,720 feet. Then, my corrected pressure would be 30.2 inches of mercury, or 1,023 millibars. In Kodiak, which is just about at sea level, the original pressure we had when we started at zero feet, and the corrected pressure will both be 28.3 inches of mercury, since there is no elevation to correct for. Initially, we want you to test your barometer indoors. But once you've confirmed that it works, the barometer should sit outside with the rest of your weather station for consistency. There are little Velcro strips that come with the barometer to help it stick to a flat surface, but they are designed for a car dashboard and may fail outside in the elements. One other option is to bolt the rear piece of plastic to whatever surface your weather station is on. You should remove the barometer first from the casing when you do this to avoid damaging it. You can remove it by pushing through this little hole here and popping the barometer out. Another option is to take the casing and hang it from a loop of string by feeding the string through the middle of this back piece and closing it. With this particular method you'll also want to take the barometer out just so that you can turn it right side up so you're not reading the barometer upside down. That's how you use the sun barometer.